Ice sheet size and descent rate used to calculate a number of things. By default, when you enter the rocket mass, it calculates a sheet diameter for the default descent rate. In this case, is 3 meters per second or 9.84 feet per second. If, uh, if you wanted to, say, use a different size sheet, it'll recalculate the descent rate. So if it's 12 inch sheet, then your descent rate's going to be different. If you wanted to change the descent rate and see what sheet diameter should be, for instance, if I enter 15 feet per second, then I could go with a, approximately a 7 inch sheet. You can override the coefficient of drag. You can also, by default, it's a parachute flat type sheet, but if you had a, a dome sheet, it, uh, by default, the dome sheet uses a 1.5 drag coefficient, but you could change any of these, and also the um, circle shape will affect, you can enter, default as a circle. The uh, temperature and elevation calculates the air density, and whenever you set this, it keeps that setting um, until you change it again. It's st stored in the app, app the device uh, defaults. So. Um, Suppose your temperature was 95 degrees, and the elevation above sea level, say in your area it's 2,000 feet. I'll calculate that. This you're not going to really have to change a lot, especially the elevation. If you go to the same launch site, same general area, the temperature may be different depending on the time of the year. But so it's really it's one setting that you shouldn't have to adjust often unless you fly around the country. But that's where that is. That's also configurable from the main app settings and from the other descent rate calculator and altitude prediction calculator. And that's about it.